Hello YouTube, this is Bash here. <laughs> Bring you here for week one. We are playing against Ominator. Uh, and their team is very interesting. Um, kind of scary actually. So <clears throat> their team consists of Iron Bundle, Terra, Slow King Galar, Garchomp, Scizor, Primarina, Mega Tyranitar, Townflame, Palma, Grottle and Terra Pikachu. <laughs> well, my team consists of Iron Bun, uh, Iron Valiant, Palafin, Terra Diggersby, Uxie, Terra Superior, Kilowattle, Hisuian Quillfish, Palper, Tinkaton, and Karkul. Now, <clears throat> going into this match, uh, there was one Pokemon I was terrified of. <clears throat> There's a couple, obviously, but the mod I'm really terrified is of is Iron Bundle. Because <laughs> looking at my team, if Iron Bundle might just one shot slash two shot everything on my team um without a doubt if it's terra water one shot two shots everything on my team especially if rain's up if I want just like close to one shotting depending on the set um so that's something i wanted to, like that's like really terrifying for my team i think that also to keep in mind is that like i think he has um decent ways of like he has like two of the better options to deal with Iron Valiant, to be honest, this game. Uh, with G Soaking being one of the best answers to it when it comes to um, uh, any set in general, because like a Colberry, uh, Fizz Dev Joe, uh, Galar, Slow King is one of the best sets to deal with Iron Valiant. And then you got a good revenge option in Scizor. So, this game looking very scary to begin with. But I did notice that like he does not switch in really well to like a palafin, especially if it's like um, in under rain. There's like not really good answers to it. So my looking off the team matchup right away, I felt like that was the best way to go around it. But I also need to make sure that I'm able to ha like win the sack game because I, I have a feeling going into this match that there's going to be a huge sack game between palf and under iron bundle because both of them just kind of claim live this game and i think that i need to find ways to support palf and i also think there's other things mods that could go really well or do really well this game depending on how i run them specifically such as uh superior i think could be really good in breaking down some of the bonds that might actually want to deal with iron valley including so king galar and scissor so i think that's a really good uh, opportunity for me to try to break things open for iron valiant at least and last but not least i felt like i wanted i needed some way to deal with the insane um to deal with the speed because right now iron bundle leads my entire team I didn't really like some of the options I had to deal with it, so I felt like just the generic one right now at this moment is Diggersby for this game. But something I really wanted to put out was that Iron Bundle was such a huge threat. Another huge threat on my against my team with the I was like palm up because palm up with like electric, uh, close combat, ice punch, mock punch. Um, don't really switch in well to that. The best thing that probably resembles a switch in is Hussein Coalfish. And Hisuian Quillfish has an awful matchup against Garchomp and Mega Detail there and Scizor. So I think that's something to keep in mind. A Palma is also very terrifying. I don't think I expect Pikachu whatsoever in this game. Um, even though I'm kind of weak to, I feel like a, a Pikachu could come because of the just the electric type. I feel like Palma does the much better role in that. And I don't think Pikachu is coming. The speed tier isn't good enough, I think, in this match. Um, and I don't think it has like the priority to the uh, it, the priority in this game to really succeed. Um, I do think that I do think that Primarina or Grotto will pro probably come. Most likely, I think expecting Fizz Def Primarina because um, that's his best way of switching into Palafin. So and maybe even under like Rocky Helmet, ro uh, Rough Skin Garchomp to try to. Um, chip palafin down enough because currently i do not the best i don't have any wish support for it so like gain chip chip them gain chip on palafin is the best way they i think they're gonna uh to win this game i think to begin it down pretty fast uh and the combination of iron bundle and palmet just sweep the rest of the game so but we have we're gonna have a game plan going into this 
And here's the sets we're going to go with. we got Iron Valiant here. we got the Cork Jelly Booster Energy. Now, uh, Close Combat, Shadow Claw, Thunder Punch, Swords Dance. I decided to go with Shadow, Bo Shadow Claw because of the fact that he's definitely going to be... Well, at least he should be Fizz, Death, Coldberry, G So King. So, the idea is... Um, Plus two Shadow Claw after a little chip, uh, it's like a small amount of chip of Fizz Death G King could take it out. Um, I don't think I'm bringing, if I remember correctly, I don't, oh yeah. So I, I believe it's actually after Rocks. I think it's like a really, like, like a really good chance. I think the KO was basically the calc. So that was the idea. And I decided to go with Thunder Punch because that was the best coverage to hit Primarina and Talonflame. Because Close Combat hits everything else. And so there's that. This is my wake, wake, uh, late game wink on, I think, um, because I'm, I wanted the idea was like try to weaken everything down. So I barely could uh, sleep in the end. The one thing I need to keep in mind is that I need to get rid of the scissor. I need to get rid of the scissor before that could even happen, though. It's the only thing. So next we got Diggersby here. Choice scarf set, U turn, return, earthquake, quick attack. I decided to pop on quick attack just in case of first off scale shot guard chomp. Uh, offensive skill shot guard chomp. Um, second thing is in case of palm up, uh, mock punch. I can outspeed it with quick attack because I'm not speeding it. And last but not least, if he decides to bring choice scarf iron bundle, that could be really scary as well. If he's trying to outdo my speed creep, like my speed creeps, I guess not speed creeps, but like me trying to outspeed him, the best way to outspeed that would be iron bundle choice scarf. Because it would outspeed everything in the game. And it would always outspeed Iron, Iron Valiant and Booster Energy too. So it's not a bad idea to be honest against me. But yeah, you turn, return, Earthquake attack. I'm going to Terror Ground on Diggersby. Um, couldn't decide between Terror, uh, Normal or Terror Ground. But I felt like Terror Ground would have been better this game. Because it puts more pressure on Scizor. Um... And with that fact, because as I mentioned before, Scizor, I need to do a Scizor if I want to get Iron Valiant to win. Um, and I want Rocks up too as well, by the way, for that. But that's something to keep in mind. So yeah, that's the set we're going with. Um, this out to be the Iron Bundle. And it's going to be my best way of trying to revenge it. I believe it. Uh, I will say I do need some chip on Iron Bundle before I can KO it. Um, before I can kill it if I'm not terrored. So that's something to keep in mind. So, next we got uh, Volume Pelipper. Uh, as I mentioned before, Palafin looks really good, especially under rain. So, we're bringing rain. We got U turn Skull, Defog Roost, uh, Max Fizz Death, Relax Nature. So, I want to get the momentum out on stuff like uh, Scizor, Primarina, that kind of stuff. I want to get the momentum out on them. So, I get like the slow momentum into the Pokemon, specifically like Palafin. And um, once Skull this game over Hurricane, I. I and I want heavy duty boots. Uh, I want heavy duty boots because I expected Garchomp to be like a really annoying hazard setter. So I feel like heavy duty boots for, with Defog on it would be really nice this game. Uh, Scald is really nice just to get like burns and stuff like that. Um, it Scald is not that bad against this team too. Hurricane could have been really nice too, but I feel like other than um, on Grotto, um, I feel like Scald might have more win like more basis in the long run because of the fact that um the burn chance um I, oh, of course i guess against bundle or two it would have been better hurricane but i think scald was better to like chip things down like pre marina um to get like to try to get the burn and stuff like that so and i don't have to, if the rain happens to run out because i'm only running heavy duty boots um it's not as big of a deal so yeah next we got superior we got terra water superior so we're um, with Leaf Storm, Terror Blast, Glare, and Substitute. Generic superior set with leftovers. Um, I feel like I could sub up on certain things. Specifically, I think the Premier and the Grotto um, I could sub up on. And depending on the set, I may even be able to set up um, sub set up a sub on Scizor if it's like a well, if it does if it's going for bull punch, I guess, or this prediction, I don't know. But and it's really nice because I think Superior Force switches too, which is really nice this game. But Terra Water, I thought was the best way to deal with it. Um, the only way Iron Bundle can hit me with is Freeze Dry super effectively, I guess. And I actually take one from Polar Zons. It's not Specs or Item Boosted. So that's something to keep in mind. I, ex I'm i not sure exactly sure how what to expect to be the switch in. Maybe G Slow King, but if G Slow King is switching to Superior, then um, Iron Valley, it looks a lot better this game. So that's something to keep in mind. I also like 
Uh, Glare, I think, is just really good too. This game to try, just try to slow down some of the sweats like Iron Bundle, Garchomp, um, Mega Tyranitar, Talonflame. So I thought those were the best way to do it. Um, and Terra Water, just to, with the. I think I wanted to really go, like, try to outbeat him in rain. So I decided to go Terra Water to hit even harder, especially under rain. So that's that. Next, we got Choice Ban Palafin. Uh, flip Jet Punch, Wave Crash, Flip Turn, Facade. Decided to go with Facade. Um, don't know if that's going to be the right decision. Um, but I was just thinking, like, in case he gets, like, a burn on, like, Flame Body, Talon Flame, I didn't want Palafin to be that, like, weak, I guess, this game. Um, maybe something like, I don't know, like, Ice Punch could have been better, or Dream Punch, or Zen Headbutt, or something like that, some other coverage. But I felt like um, Facade was, might have been the, was was probably the better choice in case of the situation where Talon Flame burns me, because I did not bring a Cleric this week. So, that was kind of the idea there. Um, especially since Palafin's really crucial to breaking down his team. Uh, even if I get burned with the, uh, the facade's gonna hit really hard. His only two switch-ins are Scizor and Mega Titar, and uh, Mega Titar still doesn't want to take a water hit from Palafin, so... And Scizor, like, s sort of doesn't really either, so... Yeah. Last but not least, we got Tinker Time. This is my best response to the Iron Bundle. Um, Regigaton, Hammer, Knockoff, Encore, Encore, and Stealth Rock. Uh, my idea is to try to get rocks up, knock off stuff, and specifically try to deal with the uh, uh, iron bundle. If I can knock it off, I'm expecting either boosts or specs, to be honest, this game. Or, if, or maybe like a oh, small chance of the scarf. Uh, if I could take any one of those uh, items off, that would be really clutch, I think, in this game. Especially if I get rocks up. As I mentioned, rocks are really kind of important for the calculate uh, with iron value. But the only problem is... is if he brings Hazard Stack too, I think I might need a Defog because I think I uh, Iron Bottle might just KO everything at that point if I don't. So, um, but yeah, I think it's my best way to deal with um, Iron Bundler. So, yeah, that's the team we're going with. Uh, let's hop right into the battle. Here's the game. We uh, playing Arm Armbrunader. Yeah. Omar, Omar, I can't even pronounce it. The o Omar, and this is the team they brought. Uh, they brought Iron Bundler, the G King, Primarina, Garchomp, Palma, and Grottle. Now, um, it doesn't show on the side now, but we are Terra Preview, and I'll tell you right now though, um, they are Terra Water Iron Bundle, which I totally expected, and it's terrifying. So, but. I think my best plan to start off the game at least is to leave Palafin. I want to get off Palafin early so I can, uh, to be able to change it to zero to hero quickly because it is my uh, my breaker this game. So that one of the things of like Diggersby, Iron Valiant, or Superior can sweep in the end game. I do notice that he did bring ro uh, um, rocks or spikes, whatever, with possibly with Garchomp, um, and then also um, I had planned leads at this point, right? So my two possible leads I think they will have against me that would be the best against my possible um Palafin lead or I am Bundler and the uh, Palmot and if they lead Palmot I was going to I believe hard switch into Superior straight up on it um if they led uh I am Bundle uh, I was going to hard switch straight into Tinkaton. If they let Garchomp I was the other one was the third one was Garchomp I was going to go straight into uh Palaper to get the rain up. So here's the how we're gonna start. I'm gonna lead off as you can see, yeah, Terra Water uh, Iron Bundle right here. And they're gonna lead off with Iron Bundle. I'm gonna switch out immediately to Ticketon, as I said, um, that was my plan. And they immediately go for their Terra, Terra Water, so they're probably not weak to rocks and does Hydro Pump. Which, look how much this is. This is Spideth Tinkaton. This is like Tinkaton's one of the mo one of the most more Spideth mods in the game. Obviously, I could have brought like Assault Vest, but I want. I don't think I had like the Assault Vest wouldn't be good this game. I felt like with the fact that I wanted rocks up this game, um, and the utility. I felt like it was going to get taken advantage of. So, but yeah, look at that damage. Like that's insane. Um, it doesn't reveal though, so it's not spec, which is good, and it's not item boosted, which is good. So that that kind of gives me the idea that it's either scarf or heavy duty boots, and I'm leaning towards heavy duty boots based on the game, based off of what they brought. So I'm just gonna go for a knockoff, so you can grab a 
item because they're probably going to hard switch or they're going to U-turn slash fifth turn. And at the moment, I didn't really think about it. Um, I almost, I actually, um, actually in the moment I did kind of think about it because I kind of thought about switching hard switching to the Pelipper on the on the possible flip turn or, or U-turn because that would, like, getting that off on me would be, like, really but uh take a ton more like in range of dying to the probably the next uh hydro pump so i thought about going pelipper but in case they decide to just go for the nether hydro pump because i can't really do too much against it other than knock it off right now i could bring have t wave but i think that's probably what they're gonna do um if they decide to stay in and just click hydro pump again i'm in a really bad position so i'm just gonna play it safe here uh, and just go for the knockoff here they get a flip turn i am now in <laughs> range of the uh, the iron bundles next uh, hydro pump, terra hydro pump. And I'm gonna go for a knockoff here. Grab rid of the item. If they show to be rough skin, rocky helmet. So definitely not a switch in anymore. And iron bundle looks terrifying now. Um, everything gets one shot or two shot now. So uh, at least I got rid of the rocky helmet though for um, Palafoon, which is really nice. But I'm gonna hard switch into Pelipper, see if I can save this as a sack, because I think the sack game is gonna be really important for iron, um, to deal with iron bundle. And they make a really good double here into Iron Bundle on my Pelipper. Um, maybe they're expecting like to play rough or something like that, or I don't know. Well, because they know they outsped though, either way, because they know I'm really sped F. But they made the right, really good double here, expecting the Pelipper. And I'm going to have to sack off the ticket ton here, unfortunately. And they go for the freeze dry. I actually live this, which is crazy. But, um,. Yeah, I'm not living in another one. <laughs> or a Terror Blast Water, which is really interesting now. So they reveal their time boost at Hydro Pump, Flip Turn, Freeze Dry, Terror Blast. So they don't have Ice Beam, meaning that uh, Superior is one of any hit they go for um, because they're not item boosting, and which is really clutch for Superior. Um, and yeah, it's just really interesting. They, they, they didn't have uh, Ice Beam, but I guess like Terra Blast Water makes sense. Just make sure it's accurate, but then Hydro Pump is good for like just breaking things. But I'm going to go straight into Superior at this point because it's the only Pokemon that lives to hit. And, Iron, uh, and Diggersby doesn't KO it back right now. So my idea is I'm gonna just going to click Glare. Uh, in case they stay in, click Freeze Dry. Um, glaring, off, glaring it would be really clutch for my team because then Iron Bundle is not an issue anymore. Um, and if they switch... Um, Getting Glare off on anything is really nice. I don't think they're going hard into Palma here. So getting Glare off on anything, like um, possibly the G King or the or Garchomp, gonna be really clutch for the But they hard switch, probably expecting out a scarf or something like that here. I'm gonna go for a glare, get that off, which is really clutch. And I believe I'm going to hard switch out. Yeah, because I wanna scout what they wanna go for. I wanna get Palafin in here. I know there's only one more turn of rain up, but I still think it was a good idea to try to get up. And they go for T spike, which is so annoying. Um, I guess they had no prep for suiting Quillfish, which, by the way, would have gone crazy this game. Um, with the set I almost brought, bringing, uh, almost thought about bringing, but I, I just couldn't bring myself to bring it with Mega Titar there. Um, plus, um, uh, Scizor, uh, Scizor was kind of annoying for it. So, but yeah, crazy, like, Quillfish could have gone, like, his <laughs> Quillfish could have gone crazy this game. But, um, I'm just gonna flip. I believe I flip turn out. Try to get it. Try to see if I can get in Pelipper so I can uh, get this defog off uh, here because we're in a not a great position since they brought T spikes. I go for flip turn. They show to be Fizz Death and Rocky Helmet Primarina, and I'm gonna go right out to Pelipper because they're Fizz Death. I always love any hit here. Um, I probably even take like I think I take like two of any hit maybe. Um, as they flip turn out here, probably expecting to be slower but I'm actually slower than them. And I go for a defog here. And I actually, I believe I go for a Scald or U turn U turn Yeah, I go for a U-turn to get some momentum, get something in. And that thing is gonna be specifically superior here. Um, Cause I wanted to be able to put some pressure on right now. Um, I didn't want to take the Rocky Helmet chip, chip damage. I get the leftovers back, which is clutch. And I go straight for a Leaf Storm. Try to get some damage off. Show us to be like a Spadef G King. So meaning that Iron Valley looks really good right now. If I could get up SD on something, there's a chance I could just clean this game because this is Spadef G King. Did not bring Scizor. Um, 
this dies the CC, this dies the CC, this dies the, I mean, plus two CC, CC, Shadow Claw. Um, I'd have to check again, but plus two Thunder Punch should be able to take it out from there. And Garl doesn't do anything much to Iron Valley, but I, I believe plus two CC should be able to do like about a ton, if not KO. But um, yeah, I'm just, so I'm just gonna go for a sub here, see if they over predict and try to go for the T Spikes again. Um, I felt like I need to be able to break down some of his core right now. I'm on down and I did not want to, I want to take advantage of their T-Spikes possibly going up or them trying to click like a momentum move like Chili Reception or getting paired. So I'm going to go straight for a sub here as I Terra as well. Uh, I feel like Superior is better for the Terra as well. I don't know why I terra here though because either way I feel like Sludge, a Sludge Bomb still broke my sub uh, if they had that. So I guess it was maybe for Flamethrower but still. Um, they go for the Chili Reception, get out and they go out to Palmont. Very interesting because I got speed Palma, right? So I'm just gonna fire off another Leaf Storm here. And they show to be Choice Scarf Palma, which I, is kind of a crazy bring. Um, didn't think that Choice Scarf was that good into me. Uh, I felt like it was a, like a, more of like an offensive one was better um, with like Mock Punch, but, um, but maybe they were trying to um, take advantage. I don't know. It was kind of like a weird situation. I, I don't believe that Choice Scarf was that good. Um, yeah, I don't know exactly what they were trying to outspeed with it then. Um, maybe just like regular Iron Valiant or like, I guess Diggers B was the only thing, but they have, Diggers B has, you can run Mach Punch for Diggers B, so like, I was like, kind of like, oh, okay. Um, uh, cool. May wish I didn't tear though, uh, cause it would have been a lot better situation. But, um, yeah, I'm just, uh, I just fired off another Leaf Storm here and I do another, uh, do 29%, so... I'm gonna sub trying to see if I can get a pair off with them trying to click Tox Spikes or uh, Sludge Bomb, or uh, uh, Chili Reception again. Um, see if they, whatever happens, and they get paired really clutch. Now I could go for two Terror Blast um, in KO, or I could go with the Leaf Storm to get up another boost and then Terror Blast in KO. So I believe is how the calc at this point. So I feel like. Another Leaf Storm was better here um, at this point, and with it doing that much, if he got if he got paired, I think that might have been game, possibly. Uh, I don't know yet, but um, I'm gonna go for another sub to see if we can try to get another pair off um, in case of a situation. In case of any situation, but I I I decided to go for a Terror Blast here. Um, probably could have gone for another sub here. But I thought maybe Superior could be useful for later on. But um, I killed the G King really good. So Iron Van looks crazy here. But the problem is, I, they go into Iron Bundle and I don't have a switch in. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get the Superior set up like before. Because first off, Palmot's um, outspeeding. Because it's Troy Scarf. Grotto now hits me super effective. Prima is the only one I could probably get it set up on. But I don't know. It didn't look good for me. So I'm just going to sack this off. Um, and hopefully, uh, I'm gonna go off to Diggersby here, and my hope is I want to get it. I want to get Iron Bundle and Major Palafin because Palafin looks crazy right now. So my idea is that if I get um, Iron Bundle and Ranger Palafin Jet Punch, I feel like a lot better this game, and I can use Palafin to sweep, especially since he's a Troy Scarf uh, Palmot. So I'm just gonna go for Return here, and um, I crit. So that crit sucks. Diggers B will not be alive right now. Um, and Iron Bundle will still be alive. Barely, but still alive. And yeah, that day was really rough for them, but um But it's Pokemon, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry about it though. But um, yeah, it's Pokemon, that is what it happens. Uh yeah, so um, they bring out Grotto here. Um, uh, and <laughs> I believe I'm going to switch out to Pelipper here to save Diggers B because Diggers B still, uh, now Diggers B looks really good too. Um, so I'm going to go to Pelipper here. They go for Seed Bomb. I believe I Roost here to get up to more, uh, higher health right now just because of Garchomp here. And I, oh, no, I click Scald, never mind. I go for Scald to try to get a burn, fish for a burn or something like that as, um, I don't get it. I'm gonna go for another one as they show to be clicking dra Dragon Tail or Roar, and they missed the Dragon Tail, um, which sucks as well. 
um, cause I get the extra, I got the extra skull off, but no matter what he dragon tailed me into, I was in a pretty good position, I think. Um, the only mod would probably be, that would be really bad, would have been Valiant maybe, but still, um, cause I was still at rain turns left too, that would have been really threatening for them. They go for protect. I believe I go for another Scald, try to get some more damage off. They're trying to start rain, I guess. And I believe I go for another Scald, yep. Try to get a burn off or anything like that. They go into Primarina. I believe I go for a Roost here. And they go back into Garchomp here on the uh, flip turn. Actually, no, I go for U turn. I want to get some momentum on the Premier Arena. Uh, Power Pro is low, but uh, it's not really that big of a deal. The best, the only thing is really useful right now at the point is like really Grotto, I guess. Um, and I'm going to go out to Diggers B. And I'm just going to click U turn. Um, I don't want to, like, in case the Grotto comes in, I'll, be, uh, I'll just get the U turn off, get into something else. Um, right now, Iron Valley sets up on Grotto, by the way, too. And I believe also Choice Scarf um, Palma, depending on what it locks into. So I think I was looking really good because I think Thunder Punch wasn't, wasn't going to do that much. Um, and then um, it can't click Double Shock. If it clicks Double Shock, Choice Scarf, that's really bad for them. So I will just get in and get a free setup. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do this. But goes for, I go for U turn. They go for Protect the Scouting because I'm Scarf, obviously. So there's no point of not doing it. And at this point, they are going to just sack off the guard jump, which is really nice. Um, I'm at a, like 64%, not great, but what is what it is. And I'm gonna go out to Pelipper here, get the rain back up for my team. And they're gonna go out into, I believe, Palma here. And so this is why I said before. So my thought process is, right? If I sack, uh, my idea was right now, I wanna sack Pelipper right now. Um, Especially if they try to over predict. Uh, so I'm gonna sack, I wanna sack Pelipper here because then that means the Iron Valley gets to come in and click SD and pretty much sweep at this point, I believe. Um, there's nothing else they can really do much about it. Um, the only thing they can do is if they hax me back, or they hacks me for um, by pairing me with a, th I think Thunder Punch could pair. Right? Or I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. Um, but that's the only, like, the only way they could be, they could take me out is if they, uh, be valiant is if they hacks me at that point so my idea was i want to i'm going to sack power purse so i'm just going to click scald uh in case they over predict and they do they predict me going to diggersby perfectly fine with that and i get a scald off get the burn too and i believe i click roost here um because there's choice choice scarfed into ice punch and i got the burn meaning that i am they're not killing me with ice punch unless they crit. So I'm gonna go for another. I'm gonna go for a roost, and I believe I go for a defog here to get rid of the spike because I wanted to see if I could keep it. Uh, if I could get the spike out, because it could be really annoying for the end game. Um, so they have the flip turn out here. I believe into uh, Grotto. Yeah, I'm just gonna defog here. Oh no, I U turn. I U turn out. Okay, and I'm gonna go out to Palafin and show. Them I want to get, oh yeah, sorry, I want to get Palafin and I did not want to defog yet. And I wanted to show Palafin, do some damage with some Palafin right here. With the, I'm going to go for a Choice Band Wave Crash in the rain. Does 45%, cl really nice. And their synthesis is nerfed because of the rain. So they're going to go for Lychee, which is kind of annoying. So now they're outside of range of um, of the next Wave Crash. I'm going to actually double out into Palafin again. And I believe on this one, I defog? Yeah, they go to Premier. I believe on this turn, I defog here. Um, as they go for a skull, try to bring me down, and I go for a defog here, get rid of the hazard, and I'm gonna just like U turn, I believe, as they just as they just kill me here. So I'm fine with that. I'm gonna bring in Palafin, and I'm just going to click Wave Crash at this point. Um, just try to claim a life here, but specifically uh, the Palmot apparently. So Palmot's dead. So that means Diggersby looks really good too. And there's no way they don't have a good way of revenging Diggers B, so the best way they can deal with it is with Grotto at this point. But um, I'm gonna they go out to Grotto. I'm gonna go with uh, to Palafin, click Wave Crash, do a butt ton to this, and they're gonna take me out with Seed Bomb. Uh, perfectly fine though, because the combination of Diggers B and Iron Valley will be able to take it out. I'm gonna go out to Diggers B first because in case um, some crazy thing happens, 
I I'm just or I was just making sure covering all my bases if they're like draining kiss and they pull themselves out of range of Diggersby for some reason by living the hit with, from from Iron Valley somehow. Um, I want to make sure that like no all my bases are covered, so I just go for Diggersby, click return. They can't draining kiss enough back with uh, from Premierina uh, from Diggersby on Premierina. I'm gonna go for a turn, almost KO. Miss out on a roll, perfectly fine, because Iron Valley will be able to clean up right afterwards. Because uh, Premier is at 5%. Iron Valley comes in. Don't have to worry about Terra, because they already used Terra, and also this is the Terra Captain. And I'm just going to Thunder Punch and KO this thing. Um, and yeah, so we take week one. Bit haxy. Uh, did, I, to be honest, had a really rough matchup against this team. I bundled, kind of just went into my team. Um, Paul Mike actually kind of went into my team as well, and I did not prep much for Grottle to be honest. Um, but I, we still pulled it out. Of course, we got a little hack. I uh, got a little lucky with the crit on uh, the digger, the digger's beat crit, and then also the Dragon Tail miss. Um, although Dragon Tail miss would have been honestly brought me out to Valley, and I still would have been in a really good position. So um, I guess it's hindsight, but. Um, the Iron Bindle crit was really bad for them, but yeah, we escape this really rough matchup week one. I, I, I was so terrified of that Iron Bundle because that thing literally claimed so many lives. Um, I don't know. I guess they, in my opinion, they shouldn't have risked it as well because um, they didn't need to because they could have switched into like Grotto instead. Um, but yeah, that is week one. We take the win against Omar. Um, and yeah, we clutch it up with the the with our breakers. Tinkaton died in like three turns, <laughs> three four turns. So whatever. Um, but yeah, I I do like a lot of part of the team. I do realize there's kind of an issue a little bit with um, that people are gonna. Like, it seems like people are gonna like to bring T spikes against me. Uh, so there is a chance I may have to switch some things up on my team. Because I realize that people are just not respecting his suit and Goldfish, and like to be honest, uh, in that deck, it's kind of rough, I guess, because it's not able to do as much as it was able to. Um, I think the regular, cool, I think the other Goldfish cool counterpart, the Water Poison, is actually in, in a way a little bit better for what it does because of the fact that like its typing is a lot better uh, to switch into a lot of those physical attacks they usually have, but like. Um, but yeah, so that is week one, um, pull out the dub, and yeah, we will s see you next week. Um, thank you all for so much, thank you all so much for watching, Bash out.